Hi everyone! In this video, we'll try to find the answer to the question, what is Scrum? We are going to check ISTQB theory and talk in human language after. Let's begin! The Scrum is Agile, Iterative and Incremental Software Development Model. Most of the resources call Scrum a framework, but in the scope of our answer, it is not critical. Let's start with the definition of Scrum. In the scope of this video, we won't dive deep into the theory. There is a ton of literature on the Internet about Scrum. And we recommend these three resources, the ISTQP, the Agile Alliance and Scrum.org. Links to these will be provided in the materials for the video. You can pause the video and check the theoretical definition. As we said, in the scope of this video, we want to show how the Scrum software development looks like. And instead of theoretical definitions, we prefer visualization. And we are going to start with a schema. It is a very popular schema, and most likely you have seen it once or twice. We want to show how this works in practice, and it starts with a product. In our case, the software product will be a website, a simple online store with three pages, home, product, and cart. And main development happens on the cart page. And the current version doesn't have any functionality. You can see the product, its price, and click the Buy Now button, that's it. And there is a plan to add a lot more features to the website. So the full version of the online store should look like this. Two more pages in the main menu, Order and Contact, and a lot more functionalities on the cart page. Users should be able to change the product color, quantity, and size. Zoom in on the view, rotate it, and check other images of the product. And apply coupons. It is a lot of work. All these planned items are called the product backlog, and it is the first item in the Scrum schema. We will talk about all of them one by one. So, what is the product backlog? As we said, we won't talk about the abstract theory too much, but we still will give at least a basic definition of each item. So, the product backlog is an ordered list of all the possible changes that could be made to the product. In simple words, it is a list of requirements, and it looks like this. In old-fashioned manner, it would be a list of cards. Nowadays, most likely it will be listed in Jira, but the board with cards on them looks much cooler in our opinion. Cards would describe the requirements from the user's perspective, like, as a customer, I want to change the size of the jeans on the card page. As a customer, I want to change the product quantity on the card page. And a lot more cards like this. Basically, these are all functionalities, improvements and bugs that are planned to be developed and delivered and it should be prioritized. So the most important stories are on the top. It is enough about the product backlog. Let's move to the next item on the schema. And the next item is the sprint planning. Before we talk about it, we need to discuss what is the sprint first. As we can see, the word sprint is on the schema four times. The sprint is a time box of one month or less during which the team produces a potentially shippable product increment. As we said, the Scrum is iterative, and the iteration is called sprint. The iteration lasts from one to four weeks. The most popular are two weeks iterations. It starts with the sprint planning and ends with a sprint retrospective, as you can see on the schema. And the Scrum is incremental. It means that it ships small portions of the product the increments. Very often, some people release to prod every spring, even if it is not mandatory in theory. Now we can move to the first item of the sprint, the sprint planning. The sprint planning is an event when a team starts out a sprint with a discussion to determine which items from the product backlog they will work on during the sprint. So basically it is a meeting, people sit and talk, and they talk about two main topics. The first one, the product owner and the rest of the team agree on which product backlog items will be included in the sprint. It means we have another board, 
and the team select items from the product backlog, which they plan to develop and deliver in the next sprint. As we said, mostly it is two weeks' work. In our case, team selected three items, two stories and one small bug fix from the previous sprint. Once the items are selected, the team discusses the second main topic of the spring planning meeting. The team determines how they will successfully deliver the identified spring backlog items. It means that the team talks in detail about each task and determines what should be done to complete it. Some tasks require backend updates, UI updates, database updates, and different types of testing. And once this activity is done, we have a sprint backlog. The sprint backlog is the collection of product backlog items selected for the delivery of the sprint, and it is the third item on the schema. So we already talked about the product backlog, sprint planning and sprint backlog. And when we talked about it, we always talked about the team. It is time to take a closer look at the team itself. On the scrim schema, we can see red, blue and green people in the circle. It is done on purpose. The scrum team consists of one scrum master, let's say it is the green icon, one product owner, let's say the blue icon, and developers, the red icons. In our case, we have four people on the development team. Typically, it is 10 or fewer people. The main goal of the team is to deliver the increment each sprint. In human language, it means that developers, testers and designers do their magic, and the list of specialties never ends. Who is the part of the development team depends on different factors in the project, product and organization. Each team decides whom they need to build the product and deliver the increment. So the size and the specialties of the team are not fixed. But the goal is common, deliver the increment. Let's check the next member of the Scrum team. We decided that the blue icon is the product owner. The person has two main responsibilities holds the vision for the product and prioritizes the product backlog. The naming can confuse, but mostly this is not like a boss but more like a business analysis job. It is the person who knows everything about the product, customers, priorities and vision. The person knows what we are doing and why we are doing it. And the last role in the Scrum team, the Scrum Master helps the team best use Scrum to build a product. In this case, the name of the role tells exactly what it means. The main responsibilities of the person are to ensure the team lives agile values and principles and follows the Scrum processes and practices. That's all we wanted to mention about the team. So, the last thing which team did is defining the product backlog. Let's check on the schema and what happens next. And the next 10 days will look pretty much the same from the team perspective. As we said, each member of the development team does their magic. And this is the time when the magic happens. We can see two circles, the big one with the team in it, and the small one called daily scrum. So let's check what it is. The definition sounds like this. Each day, at the same time, the team meets for 15 minutes and each team member briefly describes any completed contributions and any obstacles that stand in the way. So, it is another meeting and very often it is called a stand-up. Mostly it is short and should take 15 minutes or less. And even if it's not required on most of the teams, each team member answers three questions. What have you completed since the last meeting? What do you plan to complete by the next meeting? What is getting in your way? To visualize the result of these 10 days of work, we need another board. There is a thing called the burndown chart or Kanban board. Very useful tools which help to track daily progress. But as you see, we are old fashioned and we use boards. So the daily scrum will look like this. 
The sprint backlog board would be called to do, and all the items we plan to deliver this iteration are on the board. And the second board is for tracking the daily progress, and we call it done. There could be the third board called in progress, but it is not critical in the scope of this video, so we'll skip it for now. And we have the calendar for daily scrum. So the first day we started the sprint and we had a long sprint planning session. There we selected the items we have on the to-do board. The next day people were working, so the selected items were in progress, but nothing was finished. In the next two days, the main tasks of the first story were done, and testing could be started for the first item. In the next three days, the testing of the first item was completed, so the full item was ready to be delivered and a couple more tasks were done. So that is what daily routine looks like. Item after item team develops, designs, plans, fixes bugs, updates DB, etc. and etc. And in our case, it is a successful scenario, and at the end of the sprint, the team finished all the items. All of them are ready to be delivered. Anyway, all items are on the done board, so what happens next? Let's go to the next item in our schema. The increment. The result of two weeks works in our case. Let's check its definition. Sprint backlog items completed by the developers in the sprint. And in our case, it is the done board. As we said, the developers have finished all the items planned to be done in the scope of the sprint. So we have two user stories and one bug finished and ready to be delivered. As a customer, I want to change the side of the jeans on the cart page. As a customer, I want to change the product quantity on the cart page. But this is just a requirement. Let's check how it looks like on the website. Currently, the website looks like this. Three pages, and there is no functionality on the card page. But once the team will deploy its changes, users will be able to see the quantity of the products, and they will be able to see and change the size of the jeans. So that is the increment. Small changes. It's not the full version of the website, where we can see and change the color of the product or apply a coupon but it is one step closer to it. There are two more items on the schema, both of them are meetings. And the first one is Sprint Review. Let's check its definition. The Scrum team presents the results of their work to key stakeholders. The stakeholders provide the feedback and together with the Scrum team discuss what to do and may also adjust the product backlog. The dev team finished the increment and demonstrated to the stakeholders. The stakeholders check it and provide feedback. They can change the priorities for the next sprint or have a new idea related to the functionality or the two UI. And the product owner will update the product backlog based on what was discussed and decided at the sprint review meeting. In our case, we need a new highest priority story, and let's move to the last meeting on the schema. The sprint retrospective, or the retro. The last meeting and the people like to skip it. Its definition sounds like this. The Scrum team inspects how things went during the previous sprint and identify improvements they could make going forward. Again, it's a meeting, so people sit and talk about the improvements, and the improvements can be not related to the work directly. Or improvements are related to the project, product, or process itself. And just like that, we discuss the last item in our schema. As you can see after the sprint retrospective, the cycle repeats. We return to the sprint planning, and go through the cycle again and again. And that's all we wanted to mention about Scrum. We have discussed the five Scrum events. 
the sprint itself in four meetings, sprint planning, daily scrum or the stand-up, sprint review, often called the demo, and the sprint retrospective, often called the retro. And we got familiar with the scrum artifacts, the product and sprint backlogs, and the increment. And we learned the roles in the scrum team, developers, product owner, and scrum master, as we mentioned a lot of times during the video. This topic is huge and will provide the most useful websites and materials that you can use to dive deeper into the theory. So, that's our answer to the question, what is Scrum?